I have the Hyundai Kona for the day. Unfortunately, my car wasn't fixed yesterday, so I decided that today I'm going to put some miles on this car. I jokingly said that I was going to Vegas, but that's not the case. I instead wanted to go to this place called Prehistoric Pets. I saw them on Instagram and on YouTube. There was this guy and he was just like handling the snakes really well and they're like huge. And I didn't realize that they're in California, specifically in the OC area. I wanted to come and check out this place for myself. I'm gonna drive down there and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. Hi, Prehistoric Pets, how can I help you? Hi, I have a question. I think you guys have a zoo in the back, correct? We do indeed. It is 15 for adults, 10 for children, free for under three. All right, sounds good. Thank you. Have a good one. I'm excited. Whoa, this guy looks really crazy. If only I could touch you. I would pet you from the head. I kind of want to touch one, but I'm a little scared. They actually have a section where you can hold a python and they'll take a photo for you. I'm like debating if I should do it or not. <laughs> but it seems like a lot of people are doing it, so I think I'm going to do it. Hi, um, can I go ahead and pay for the... Photo? Yeah. And uh, let me make a little bit more of a space right there for you. Right there, pretty good. <laughs> Real close shot. Okay. <laughs> and also, Pearl is a Burmese python. And the Burmese pythons are from southern and southeast Asia. They are the third largest snake in the world. Now, this is still a pretty small one at about 8 feet long and 45 pounds, does it take? But she's only 4 years old. Now, she will live for 20 years, and in that time, she can grow to be 20 feet long and 300 pounds. Thankfully, they're not venomous, but it is a constrictor, so it's a pretty strong snake. As you can feel, she's got some strength. <gasps> I got to hold a snake. It was so cute. Her name was Pearl, and she was so sweet. Apparently, she's a yellow Burmese python, and oh, I, I'm so glad I actually purchased that experience. like a catfish to me. There it goes. Look at that. I didn't think you'd get that down there. So I just finished walking around the Prehistoric Pets Zoo and I actually really liked it. I'm planning to bring my niece when she comes and visits me 
here in California. I would recommend it for those who have little kids because I think they'll enjoy this place because you can actually feed the turtles and fishes. They also purchase carrots and cabbages to feed other animals. I saw alligators and reptiles that I've never seen before. They also had lizards and an albino alligator, snakes. The one thing I learned about reptiles is that they all kind of shed. I knew that snakes, their skin would shed, but I didn't think that it would happen to lizards as well. At one point, I thought one of the lizards was sick. However, it actually was about to shed its skin, so it was all good. Fun fact, I don't know if you guys know this, but snake eggs are actually pretty soft. When I got a chance to look at the eggs up close, I noticed that they do kind of have like indentations in some areas of the egg. So it was really cool to see that. Overall, I'm, I'm glad I came out because it was, it was all around fun, to be honest. I felt like a little kid again, and I just love doing things like this. My favorite part was holding Pearl and experiencing that feel and texture of her skin on my skin at one point she was so comfortable with me that she just kind of laid like flat on my chest and definitely perfect for families with little kids and anyone who is interested in seeing reptiles or if you are just curious i would definitely check this place out i'll definitely put the address down below in the description yeah, off to the next place, which is probably, I don't know, we'll see. Today is an, a spontaneous day, so you guys are coming along with me on the ride. <laughs> Bye! So I just got two Brodards. It's a Vietnamese restaurant, and I really love their Nam Nung, which is their spring rolls. I love it because it's actually crunchy on the inside and it has this really like authentic Vietnamese spring roll taste that I haven't had in most other restaurants. Since I'm in the OC, why not, right? It's really good and I'm gonna grab a few before I have to go grab another one. Mm. Mm. So good. On the way to the arts district to meet up with Pam, Connie, and Kat, and we're going to check out this new restaurant called Cha Cha Cha. It's supposed to be really cute, so we'll see. Hi, Pam. <laughs> Get it? Do you want more? Okay. Yeah. You want to try your camera? Okay. Oh, I'm doing a video. 